Hello and welcome, welcome everyone to your Love Scenes forecast for February 2016. And this is for the thick signs of Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. And uh, birthday blessings to you for those of you Aquarius in uh, February with birth dates, yes. And I just wanted to open up that as a fixed sign, you are the second month in the season. And it's your job to maintain that season. Fixed signs concentrate and solidify ideas. Okay. And the idea for this reading for your fixed signs too. I had just dropped uh, the full moon video in Leo. And it came out uh, a, a positive uh, video. And... I always uh, try to close with my full moons with the runes and the partnership room came out. So I want to open up with this rune because for this full moon in Leo, these energies right now as I'm presenting this reading, we're going to harness these energies. And I do want to read about uh, Leo uh, under the influence for this full moon. Under the influence of the moon in Leo, people need romance, affection, and recognition. The desire to be admired and appreciated can be so strong that it may result in especially dramatic behavior. Leo is ruled by the sun, making this a time of ambition, independence, and leadership. People may refuse to recognize limitations. The moon in Leo is a time of enjoyment and warmth and a time to show kindness and generosity to others. Leo rules the heart and the upper spine, okay? So I just feel if we can embrace, I'm going to actually, as the reader, harness this feeling of beauty that we have going on here and that the partnership room came out um, was very exciting to me as well because uh, it just closed the reading beautifully for the Leo vibes, all right, for this full moon here. And so let's just open up the reading with this and then we'll pull the cards so we can, you know, put on our mind frame. This is where what we're trying to achieve in partnerships and love, because what we're trying to do is, you know, I mean, I'm not saying anything about those dating sites. That's all, you know, a, a good thing to I don't see that's a bad thing. But when you're looking for your soulmate twin flame, I don't think you'll find them on those sites. OK, is what I'm saying. Um, I really think you have to, you know, be authentic, you heal, you be whole and then working with divine flow. And even if it's on a site that's positive, they'll send it to you. But some of those sites, you know, work. So I don't know, it's just a little more public forum. And we want to think esoterically, you know, we want to think we just want that one twin flame, you know. And uh, so, but let's read what the rune wrote here, or reads. Drawing this rune is an indication that partnership is in some form is at hand. In love relationships, in business matters, in partnering of every kind, you are put on notice not to collapse yourself into that union. For true partnership is achieved only by separate and whole beings who retain their separateness even as they unite. Remember to let the winds of heaven dance between you. So that's what I'm trying to say. Let the divine flow bring you both together, okay? Because you're both in the right frames of mind. And uh, yes, let's continue. At the same time, there is another aspect of partnership that you are being called to consider. For the path of partnership can lead you to the realization of a still greater union. Union with the higher self. Union with the divine. The ultimate gift of this rune is the realization of the divine in all things. God always enters into equal partnerships. And we've been talking about going with that divine flow, too. So Gebo, the name of this rune is Gebo, G-E-B-O. Gebo, the rune of partnership, has no reverse. Okay, so no reverse, right? And, uh, and it signifies the gift of freedom from which will flow all other gifts, okay? And so with that higher self, you know, if you're really working, if you watch videos like this, you're working on yourselves, obviously, right? And wouldn't you want to meet someone that the divine brings to you that is also in a hole, you know, searching his whole wholeness? 
and then they can bring you together and that is what a twin flame pretty much is okay well thank you for letting me take some time to open the reading with that but i thought it was so important because we've got these energies and this full moon uh from new york uh, eastern coast starts tonight and then it'll go to europe so it's like a 23 24 so it's happening it's happening take advantage take advantage i'm hoping last night we had a horrible storm out here so i couldn't even go out to look so i'm hoping that we'll get some it's been kind of funky weather here in florida lately Okay, so let's go and get to the reading. I've opened with the Law of Attraction Tarot, and I'm also working with the, a new deck I have called the Goddess Tarot, okay, for the feminine uh, side of the party here. And then I brought the gods up for the male side of the party. And I've also brought out the Romance Angels uh, to pick one card for each uh, quality sign and we are working with the fixed sign so this is for Taurus Leo Scorpio and Aquarius and this is kind of the vibe we're asking about for this reading calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together okay so I'm putting that back in the deck right here but I just did want to you know kind of say this is the theme because we've got this full moon that's why I'm kind of opening it up like this because of the, the vibrations, the energies, the illumination of this moon, and so powerful in Leo with the sun power too. And we know that the sun illuminates Luna. So it's just more double, triple whammy, you know, triple whammy. So And that that partnership room came out was very, very positive. Okay, and I'm also opening with the Law of Attraction. I'd like to add one last thing. Um, this past week I was e got an email from tarotacademy.org and I'm happy to say that they chose my video uh, a review video I literally opened the deck on my channel I was in my condo so this is two or two or three years ago but they have chosen my video to highlight law of attraction tarot on their website so if you want to go to tarotacademy.org uh, plug in in the search section law of attraction tarot and you'll see the images, and then you can scroll down, and there'll be the my videos. <laughs> giving me a little, I'm giving me myself a little. What is it? What do they say when you when you're? I'm pitching. <laughs> no, that's not a pitch. What is it? I'm just teasing. But anyway, it just it felt good. Is all I'm saying. So, and I appreciate all my new viewers and subscribers and comments. It's always fun for me. I I love you know, integrating with all of you. All right, so let's really think about, you know, this love that we really truly want that is divine, you know, and, and even if it's, even if you're not looking to have children with someone or, you know, it's just that heart to heart that is so genuine, okay? Not, not a game playing thing, so. All right, so let's take a deep breath in here. slowly this is the goddess tarot so. I was going to pull another one. No, I'm doing a six card spread today. Six for the harmonizing number. Six for the lovers of major arcana. And here we have the gods. Being the male active. Sun is all male active. Moon is feminine receptive. So uh, let's see what this love forecast reading has to say. Okay, put this, put this, I'll put that there, just so you can see if anybody's interested in what that looks like. All right, my darlings, well, let us start the reading. Okay, and we start with, ah, 
the moon. Oh, that's wonderful, my darlings. Just, I mean, I'm, you could, I don't know, I got my hair standing, you know, I'm, I, I came on YouTube to highlight Luna as like fifth element of healing and that she's just come out when I just embraced this full moon for her in Leo. I'm, um, I'm overwhelmed with, with happy. I totally am. I, I just, I really am. You know, this is all about our dreams, our imagination, you know, occult wisdom, you know, creativity, it's introspection, being psychic, it's, it's everything that, you know, I long to be, <laughs> you know, uh, as being a person with innate thoughts. Uh, yeah, I'm just, got it just, I got to highlight it. I'm, I'm very happy, very happy. Okay. And we have the king of coin. Wow. We got some powerful powerful here. No, this is not the king. This is not the king. This is the 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 knight. The knight of coin. Okay, yes. 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 Cuz I saw the crown, but that's the knight also has a crown. Okay, so let's pick up so we've got some coin on the table now too, so that's positive money flow. That's good. And we have the Eight of Cups. That's nice. All about our emotions and feelings there. And we've got that, you know, number eight is that power source. Uh, also another uh, number for money. So, and there she is. She's looking at her moon there. Nice. And, you know, and this is like love power. Really. It really is. It's about the power of love, of charming, uh, you know, like even groups of people. You know, like it's like you're you're popular. <laughs> uh, since this is a love scene uh, reading, I can talk like that about this card. Yes, I mean definitely. So uh, you see, when we when we become our authentic whole selves, the divine will bring you, you know, these energies because you know you deserve it. You you do. You know, and uh, it's about socializing too. So let's let's get out for this full moon here and have fun this weekend, okay, my darlings? Oh boy, we have the King of Swords. All right. Well, now this is the mental. Swords is the air sign, okay? So it's how we're thinking. And if any king uh, has the mental clarity, it's this man right here, this figure, okay? And remember, you know, this is the Goddess deck, but uh, we read, you know, a, a woman can be a king and she runs her own business. You know what I'm saying? A man obviously runs his own business. He's a major king player too. But it's all about your thoughts, okay? How you're thinking now. And, and, and you have to have that clear conscious of what you want and especially in love. You know, how many of us truly have gone through many relationships that it just sours, you know, it's always fun in the beginning and then it just, but wouldn't it be nice to have that everlasting, okay? But there's there's important people here already. Very good. And let's see what the gods have to say. Oh, my Lord, we went straight. <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. Straight to uh, Hades down there. Transformation man, no doubt. But that's okay. There's much wisdom with him. Let's read what he has to say. And then we'll pick this one. A cat. Dedication. All right. Well, there's dedication here from the gods. That's good. But, you know, like we say, let's see. Let's let's go to the gods first because I'm curious now um, what they have to say. Because uh, we know with Leo ruled by that sun, that's all about male active, male action. No doubt about it. And this is a powerful god, Hades, no doubt. So... Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm not going to read all this, but I'm just highlighting what, what it's saying here. Death is not always a negative thing. 
Everything has a season. Leave behind what you no longer need. And how cool is that? That at, at full moons, we release, right? We let go. We let it go with no longer serving us, okay, to our higher purpose, our higher realm, our higher being, okay, our higher soul. So even Hades, death, see, but he's got the wisdom. He's telling us what to do. The three-headed dog, Cerebrus, guards the gates of the underworld, snarling and growling at anything that moves. The dog's jaws drip pools of saliva onto the cool, dark stone. Soon a solitary figure approaches. It is Hades himself. His dog calms and submits its three heads for petting. The master has arrived. Oh my God. Hades is the Greek god of death. His name comes from the Hellenic world for invisible. See, I learn something all the time, people. I didn't know that. From the Hellenic word for invisible. This is because the realm of the underworld, also referred to as Hades, is invisible to all. Hades, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Hades, Hades also owns a special helmet permitting the wearer to be undetectable. This weapon is featured in a number of stories and many other gods wear it in war. Okay, so, and it says here, Hades fell in love with Zeus's daughter, Demeter. Uh, Zeus and Demeter's daughter, Persephone, and Zeus promised Hades her hand in marriage. Demeter, however, did not agree to the match or even tell Persephone about the offer. In his frustration, Hades kidnapped the lovely young woman, and taking her down deep into his dark domain, he tried to woo her. Demeter, goddess of agriculture and loving mother, searched the world for her daughter, and in her grief stopped facilitating the growth and production of all food and plants. Everything died and man began to starve. Wow. Okay, so it says here, should Hades come forth in your life, this does not normally signify a physical death. An ending or a leaving behind is more likely, and this is not always a negative thing. Everything has a lifespan, in particularly ideas, beliefs, and fears that have passed their expiration date. Sometimes in order for growth to occur, death must too. Prepare to let go of ideas, aspects of your personality, or even a specific phase of a relationship to make way for new ones, okay? And uh, it says here, in the universe, I wish to allow, well, I'm not, I'm not going to keep reading, but now we get the gist that it's, it's, it's about transforming ourselves, releasing the past, okay? And you see, here was an, a, a male action that, you know, was kind of strong with the woman, right? So, you know, we, we really want to go into that world. So we're trying to find where we can all, but we know we have to release, okay? That's, that's why, you know, he has the wisdom like that, all right? That, yes, you need to release. If you want to move forward and you want to find that righteous person f for you to grow with, and, and and dedicate to well then you know you you want to find the perfect match dedication it is time to complete a current project and dedicate yourself your next venture it is safe to commit okay so now this is wonderful too that now we know that we're trying to get whole and we know we're trying to become our own authentic selves and so now it's really 2016 it's taking care of you dedicating you being in love with you and then let that divine flow bring you that lover, okay? The ancient Mayas were tattooed people, and um, not just a decorative art to them. Tattoo, tattoos displayed clan identity and were seen as rites of passage and a direct injection of divine power. Okay, so let me see what else it has to say. I don't want to read all this, but it says, Okay, when a cat comes up in your reading, it may be a sign that it is a time to dedicate yourself to a new project or path, or consider completing a rite of passage where you need the strength or courage to stick to what you have promised. A cat is there to assist you. Keeping your word, especially to yourself, is important when this card is present. Okay, so that's the good thing. So. You know, we were saying, especially, you know, many of us make resolutions or how we're going to change. So stick to the programs, my darlings, okay? Stick to the programs. All right. 
So we understand that, you know, dedicate to you. Take care of you. And honestly, here we have Luna. And since, you know, it came from the law of attraction, we got to read the moon. I, I'm so happy this came out for you all because I really, you know, I actually, when I before I sat at this table, I was really, you know, praying that I didn't expect the moon card to come out, but I was praying that these energies, we could harness them. And, and here we have it. It's just awesome. Let's see which way am I? Here we go. Okay, the moon. We mustn't fear our dark side, but rather accept it without being dominated by it. There you go. A group of indistinct figures make a woman hesitate going forward on his path. Let me see. Hold on a second. A group of... I don't see the... Oh. Oh, yes. Okay. They're like all bats. Black bats. Can you see it? Okay. I couldn't see it, but now I see them. A group of indistinct figures make a woman hesitate going forward on her path. In the sky is a moon represented by a silver disc with a woman's profile. Upside down, snow-like drops float in the air as they, they were attracted to the moon itself. Among the nocturnal animals present are fireflies, owls, and many bats. These scenes depict the strength and dangers of the world of appearances and imagination. And the key words, ideal to be reached, maternal figure, darkness fading away. And the interpretation, the moon is generally considered the lady of the subconscious par excellence, as well as the manifestation of the precious feminine quality of intuition. And that's a big theme, you know, trust your intuition, okay? Pay attention to your intuition. She invites you to go beyond the outward appearances of your wish, investigating its darker facets. Trust your instincts. They can warn you of all those impediments which because of their faded edges can easily conceal themselves. Beware of outward appearances, errors, and prejudices. Okay? So, you know, Luna definitely, you know, to work with Luna, you have to work with the dark side too. Uh, but that's all, that's what gives us the strength. That's what gives us the power. That's how we become fierce and fearless. Okay? So, yes, no doubt about it. And I want to confirm this is... Um, the Knight of Coin, but nice to see that there's coin on the table too, okay, because uh, it seems like for 2015 and even opening up 2016, a lot of um, concerns with, with money still, which is always, you know, gosh, money, people, money comes, money goes, right, we talked about that, but uh, yes, you know, it's nice to see that now we have a little coin here, okay, I'm just going to go into the Keywords and interpretation. Uh, Keywords. Indecision in face of physical or uh, financial danger. Excessive self-confidence. The ability to give the right value to money. Okay. Words are never uttered. The interpretation. Words are never uttered at random. And metaphors describe what is happening in your mind and the light mind of others. Once you understand the emotional state expressed by the metaphor, it becomes easier to change it and perhaps choose a more positive one. Ask yourself, what is the metaphor you use to describe your financial situation? What does money mean to you? How do you judge the wealthy? And above all, which metaphor can you create to have money in abundance? There you go, my darlings. You can see the brain's ticking there too. So, and you know... We've got the earth sign here, and we've got the, you know, the mental sign here. So just think positive, my darlings. That's mainly the bottom line for all of us. I mean, we could just, you know, and that's not easy to do, no doubt about it. Not easy to do at all. Not, not at all. Uh, but, you know, we keep on ticking. We keep on ticking. All right. Well, this, you know, reading is just saying get out there. You know, celebrate yourself. You know, get that mental clarity going. See, because you're available to make the money. Okay? Okay? Yes, you are. You got the king here, too. And don't be feared. This is what, you know, Luna's saying. Be fierce and fearless. Okay? Yes, there's darkness. And there's light. It's called the balance, right? That's the balance. That's the, that's the light in the balance there. 
and then we have that dedicate to yourself now okay just get your frame of mind going here dedicate to yourself because really you can be pretty popular you know and we know that death is has wisdom okay right but it has endings to new beginnings okay endings to new beginnings so stand strong and and just you know let's take care of ourselves first it, that's not it's not ego coming from the ego it's literally to take care of our soul first let's take care of our soul first and once that goes the body comes in and mind comes in and it's all win-win okay let's see what the romance angels have to say chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here okay well if you have someone that you're interested or you know you're just meeting somebody new or maybe you're wanting to meet someone new there's a little chemistry here so let's see what the little book says you've received this card because you feel a strong dynamic pull toward another person in other words you share chemistry with him or her this creates intense, pleasurable sensations that draw you to each other. If this person is someone other than your partner in a committed relationship, then the chemistry is probably a source of both stress and escape. You'll need to weigh your options and the consequences carefully before or instead of leaving your current partner or embarking upon an affair. If, however, you are single and feel this pull toward another unattached person, then this card brings you a go-ahead green light of good news. Most likely the chemistry is mutual and merits exploration. In some cases, this card may mean that a lack of chemistry is a cause for relationship issues and personal discontent. If there was chemistry initially, it may be restored by devoting effort to the relationship. Passion sparks and romance can be revived through playfulness, thoughtfulness, time together, and caring gestures. Call upon the romance angels to guide you as you make important decisions about channeling this chemistry. Okay, my dear, so you can see this is like a loaded table here, but we've got Cupid sh shooting the bow right there. He's <laughs> kind of shooting the bow, so, so yes, my darlings. Well, Luna came out. I cannot deny this. So get out to this full moon. Okay, get out. Get outdoors. Look up. Look up. And if you can be with someone you love, awesome. Or if someone you're just wanting to meet, awesome. But again, let's let go of that past. Okay, the past is done. No mas. Okay, go away. And then let's get clear on how we're going to improve our finances. Okay. You know, and then again, you have to think like, yeah, money's coming, money's coming, abundance flow from, from the divine. Think a bit like that. Even if it's not in your checking account, but just think it's going to come. It's coming, okay? And make it positive, all right? And here you have the king of swords. I have to admit, you know, this, this is a heavy player here too. He doesn't take any nonsense. He knows how to use that sword, okay? No doubt. So, you know, think straight, think clear, all right? Because they, they want this for you. And then dedicate time for you. And we've been talking about that for a while too. You know, you know, take those salts, take time for you. Exercise, drink lots of water, you know, watch what the foods, try to eat as organic as you can. And then and then the chemistry is there, see? Because uh you're the social butterfly. <laughs> yeah, no, they want it. And look, she's out in the moon. So maybe this weekend you can meet uh, something. Wouldn't that be beautiful, too, to meet someone this weekend, you know, that, that, that Luna has brought you both together? That'd be cool. That'd be cool chemistry. You both are moon beam gazers. Huh? <laughs> all right, my dears. Well, thank you so much for watching today. And I'm wishing you all, Taurus, Leo, and Scorpio, and Aquarius, a wonderful uh, February 2016. And get out if you can this weekend and appreciate this full moon. And these energies will be, oh, for next, you know, till the next new moon, all this will be going on. So you have, you know, till February to figure all this out. Okay. Thank you again for watching and all my new subscribers. I'm, I feel very blessed.
Mucho kisses, lots of love. Ciao.